when you develop any front-end application or any mobile application mo you sometimes need authentication because if there is any data need to save in server then you must need authentication right so knowing authentication and how it works is very important whether you be a web developer or mobile apps developer so that's why i'm exploring basically this uh, authentication using firebase, firebase facebook google twitter using flutter application so my plan here is that if i can do it properly then for any of my client project or if i want to develop any of my personal project then i can do it uh, for that also i show you what the status of this thing so here you can see that this is a android application simulator and uh, sorry emulator and this is a uh, iphone simulator so if you click continue with facebook in android you will see this uh, thing is working if you click continue then i grab the token from facebook authentication in this demo i do not have to uh, write my email and password because i already use this authentication i mean i already give the password and email thing that's why it does not uh, need the thing again you just need to approve the thing so if you click go back you will get the screen and if you come back to sync to this again you can see that you are already logged in even if you uh, off your application and if you on again you can uh, see that you will be logged in if you previously logged in so the thing is that currently i am doing only the authentication part not the firebase cloud firestore yet integrated because that's another complexity so when i integrated this facebook google and twitter what i found that the code the sample code is not difficult to understand but the configuration is really a, a bit cumbersome like for google you have to configure two things externally and internally and to implement google sign in in flutter application you need two libraries not one libraries one from firebase and one from uh, google auth if you check my uh, pub spec you can see that libraries here so here you pub spec you see that there is google sign in one library another one is that uh, uh, firebase auth so this two is required for google sign in and when i want to integrate the facebook thing i also face some little problem but fortunately there is a third party facebook plugin in uh, flutter plugin store so you can easily use that but the most annoying part was when i was integrating this sign in with twitter because for twitter you need a approved developer account so that means from uh, twitter website the developer dot uh, twitter website you have to apply for a developer account then you can use that twitter thing and there is also need another third party library that is facebook twitter login but un uh, sorry flutter twitter login but unfortunately that library has some problem because uh, iphone later did not have any uh, built-in twitter library before I, ios 8 there was a built-in library in ios sdk but later they removed that's why but this this plugin is basically in the old way so phase uh, twitter sdk is now uh, above three version so that's why this plugin needs some tweaking so that's the thing i have found when i was integrating this facebook google and twitter and now i will work maybe tomorrow i will work the create account and the sign in account using the username and password and i basically check the code that is quite easy to integrate but the most difficult thing is integrating these three things so let's try sign in with twitter you see now i am in my iphone if i click authorize app you see uh, it's working it's working nicely and if i click log out it's log out if i click uh, continue with facebook in my iphone simulator you say it's working nicely so my plan here is that if user login using any of his social media or create account i use that id and i will uh, based uh, i will save the data like the to do's data i will use based on those id and one thing i want to show you that 
in the firebase also you will see that currently i am using my test account so there you will see that i use three account twitter google and facebook that's why you will see there are three users so when i use the social media account you have to remember that if the email does not match then the firebase auth will uh, take that email as a different user so for example if i have same email address in facebook and google or even twitter and if i use the same email address for any of the authentication the firebase auth will create one user ID, uh, for all of this those account because that will check the email but if you have different email there will be different user id for each of that email so this is one of the important thing you have to remember and another thing is that if you visit my github.com slash mahmudasan slash flutter to do's you will see that there are currently two branch one is master brand another one is firebase integration so basically i am working in the firebase integration and when i will finish everything i will merge that with the master branch and then you can only able to use the master branch to get the idea how to integrate this kind of things so now what i am thinking that if you are totally beginner to integrate this authentication using uh, firebase uh, facebook google or even twitter then you may face some problem and sometimes what you have to do that you have to fix the java or objective c code because for twitter integration i have to uh, change one objective c code one line and then it was working so anyway so what i am thinking that i will create four part tutorial so on the first part maybe i will integrate i will show you how to use the facebook authentication second part maybe google and third part maybe twitter and fourth part maybe the create account uh, using uh, email and password so that's a, that's my plan that i will create some uh, video tutorials for that so anyway let me know what do you want which which party won the first session like uh, authentication with facebook or authentication with google or authentication with twitter so here is my plan when i will uh, complete this thing to do thing like authentication and this firebase data synchronize i will refactor this to do application code so when the app will open this uh, this kind of menu will be shown if user use any of the social media account he can log in or he can create account or he can skip this part if user skip this part the to do's data will be saved locally but if user log in using any of the those uh, social media account or even create account then i will use th that user id to save data in fire store if you are totally beginner to flutter application development or maybe you are beginner to develop android or ios application natively or even you are you want to be a front end developer so here is my recommendation when you learn something you should create a project from scratch complete it 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 should be at the first project you should be a small project you should not think big just think small complete it and deploy it it's very important because on the process you will learn many pros and cons of that particular library or framework so for example here when i completed this application on the way i learned many things so that's very important if you uh, use flutter to design user interface okay flutter is very useful to create user interface but user interface is not the application it is a part of the application there are other features needed to create a complete full application so that's why i always suggest uh, when you learn something uh, create something from scratch and finish it and deploy don't do some half done project half done project is not done at all keep it mind so that you can complete something and deploy it so that will really helpful for your understanding on that particular technology so that's it for today see you in another video goodbye